Hey everyone, my name is Jose Barajas and I'm the technical director here at Attack IQ. We're back with our second episode of Cyber Snacks, our new show where we're breaking down key features of the Attack IQ platform in just a few minutes. Today I'll be talking about Microsoft Defender ATP. Um, I've got some grapes with me today, um, which is one of my go-tos. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's start off by running our security health check assessment template by going first and foremost to the assessment template library. From here, as you can see, we have a variety of different assessment templates for the different focuses that you may have. As you can see here, most recently we've released a number of NIST 853 mappings so that our customers can test themselves against that. For the purpose of today, we can go ahead and search ATP Health and we can see here the Microsoft Defender ATP Health Check. We can go ahead and read the description here take a look at some of the scenarios that are configured, but let's go ahead and just get started and create this new assessment. In order to run this assessment and test against the new deployment of Microsoft Defender ATP, we simply have to select the assets that we have within our environment. In this case, these are the two assets that I have currently installed and configured with Microsoft Defender ATP. I wanna verify that my deployment uh, is actually working appropriately. Since this is a template, it's already pre-configured, already predefined, so no configuration inputs are required from the users in order to execute this behavior. Let's go ahead and run this here and run now. Essentially here, the assessment is now running. As the agents check in, they'll notice that they have a job to do, they'll execute the test, and they'll call back with the results. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at another assessment template that we ran previously in order to review what the results will look like. If we take a look at results that were previously run, we can get an understanding of what those results look like, uh, find any gaps and areas that we need to work on in order to further verify that our deployment is working effectively. So let's go ahead and take a look at how some of those results look. From here, we can see what our combined output looked like from the perspective of both prevention and detection. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at individual results to see what it is that we're able to observe from the perspective of Microsoft and their Defender ATP based on the behavior that we generated. As we can see here, uh, Microsoft Defender ATP was clearly able to identify account discovery. Uh, as you can see here, our use of NetTools.exe prompted detection from the Defender ATP side that clearly identified this as malicious activity. As we can see in the results here, we can have an understanding of what the overall combined results look like a breakdown by each and every individual tactic, technique, and procedure that was executed as part of this process. And as we can see, we can have an understanding of areas where uh, we're doing uh, well, areas where we might have some work to do, uh, as an example. A lot of times when deploying new technologies, uh, configuration uh, is a big part of that, obviously. Uh, and by running proactively uh, an assessment health check such as this one, um, new customers can actually verify that they've appropriately deployed this technology here. Let's take a look at one example here uh, with Absurd DLL script. In this example, what we can see is according to our results, this is a tactic that was not prevented, however, it was detected. Uh, and we can take a look at further details here. As you can see, we've automatically recreated the behavior here uh, and we showcase in very detailed fashion exactly the steps that were taken in order to recreate this attacker behavior. Attack IQ is an open platform and, and uh, a glass box when it comes to showcasing its content uh, to the point where we can even download the source code uh, if you wanted to do so as a customer. If we take a look at further details here, we can see that from a detection perspective, Microsoft Defender ATP, um, as we can see from the perspective of Attack IQ, detected this behavior um, if it would have prevented it, we could actually pull that context from Defender ATP as well. 
And as you can see, it's already been identified as a persistence tactic, which aligns with what MITRE has described this behavior to be. And we can see here that it's very clearly identifying exactly what the behavior was done. Let's take a look at what that looks like when we go to Microsoft Defender ATP itself. Here we have the view from the perspective of Microsoft Defender ATP. From the perspective of Attack IQ, if we go back very quickly, we can observe and see how this behavior was identified, how Microsoft Defender ATP identified this as a detection type of behavior. Uh, the classification was persistence. And the event description actually aligned directly with the type of behavior that we have observed. So these abstract DLL uh, uh, um, registry keys were modified as described here. As we go back to the details from the Defender ATP side, we can get an understanding of how this alert is actually managed, how it's identified, uh, and even allows you to then process it in a proactive manner so that you can see how you would handle this type of case, uh, assuming it was generated by a threat actor. We can then take a look at further details by jumping actually to the incident associated with this. Within Microsoft Defender ATP, you can then get an understanding of exactly where uh, this event happened, uh, as we can see it throughout the timeline as well. Finally, what we can look at as well is the results from the perspective of the MITRE attack matrix itself. Uh, while the activity details uh, are very useful, we can take a look at things here from the perspective of prevention, from the perspective of detection. Uh, we can even expand to understand at the sub-technique level uh, which techniques are being detected by a given technology. As we can see here, we have extensive coverage across uh, the board uh, here with Defender ATP, which is uh, essentially representative of me having an appropriate deployment tool. Thank you everyone for joining me for this episode of Cyber Snacks. I hope you found it valuable and maybe took some time to enjoy a snack of your own. If you're interested in taking a deeper dive into the Tech IQ platform, you can join one of our live weekly demos every Thursday. We'll put a link in the description below. We look forward to seeing you there and on the next episode of Cyber Snacks. Thanks.